Greensburg United Methodist Church presents Why, the Kids Advent Event featuring Miss Beth, Pastor David, and Miss Amy on this the fourth Sunday of Advent where we learn about love and sanctify. So, we're gonna have a lot of fun, learn a lot. Join us for the Kids Advent Event. Hello, I'm Miss Beth. And I'm Pastor David. And, and it's Advent. Advent. Now remember, Advent means coming. Four weeks, but guess what? We're down to just days now. Yes, but we still have to wait. Advent is a time to wait, not quite time to celebrate. We wait and we learn. That's right, indeed. And you'll notice we're wearing purple again, and purple's the color for preparation. We wear it during Advent, and we also wear it during another time called Lent, and we'll learn more about that in February. Now, when Christmas comes, we wear white. White is the color of celebration, and according to the Bible, white is the color of the kingdom of God. But we're still in Advent. It's still a time to wait. It's still not quite time to not celebrate. Not quite yet. During Advent, we remember God's love. God loved the world so much that He sent His Son, Jesus, from heaven to come to earth. And our word for the day on this fourth Sunday of Advent is love. love. Remember week one when we learned that song about Advent mm -hmm. being a time to wait, not quite time to celebrate? Let's go back one more time and sing it. Advent is a time to wait, not quite time to celebrate. Count the candles one by one until our Advent time is done. Day by day we work and play to prepare for Christmas Day. You did so good. Let's sing it again. Are you ready? I know you can do it. You're doing a great job. Advent is a time to wait, not quite time to celebrate. Count the candles one by one until our Advent time is done. Day by day we work and play to prepare for Christmas Day. One more time, but let's do it faster this time. I know you can. You're doing so good. Let's sing it again. Here we go. Advent is a time to wait, not quite time to celebrate. Count the candles one by one until our Advent time is done. Day by day we work and play to prepare for Christmas Day, to prepare for Christmas Day. You did so good! Yay! Good for you! And now it's time for the first word of the day! Well, look oh, who it is! Bonjour, bonjour, mademoiselle Amy. Jacques the Possum. I'm Jacques the Possum. How are you? Good. How are you? Oui, very good, good, uh, good. Good. We are here for the first word of the oh, day. Oh, I know it. The yeah, what is it? The first word of the day. It's took. 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 You mean a hat? Yeah, oui. No. No. Try again. Uh, violet. That's the word. Violet. Viol violet, like purple? Yeah. Oui. No, but we, I am wearing purple. Yeah. Okay, well, the first word is love. Oh, magnifico, magnifico. I love to wear my violet toque in the cold winter. <laughs> that would be nice to see. That's one kind of love when we love a certain thing or doing certain things. Like, I love to go for walks. But there are many other meanings to love. Well, oh, I also love my family. Yes, that's another good one. We love those close to us. I love my family very, very much. Oui. We can also love food. Oh, I love Canadian poutine. Oui. Yeah, I've had that. That's very good. Um, there's a special love between two people, oh. like a mommy and a daddy. Oh, oh you mean like kissy kissy? Yes. Yeah, oui. Or other people, like friends. Oui where friends get along and they share and they have fun. Those are different types of love.
but then there's also God's love. Oy. And that is the most important love. Really the most important. Yes, because that love says, I care about you oh. and I want the best for you. Oh. Yes, and God's kind of love says, I want the best of the best. The greatest good for you because I care about oh, you. Oh, that sounds good to me. You. God cares about us so much that he gave his son. Oh. Do you know who his son was? Oh, Jesus. Jesus, yeah, yes, we. Jesus. And God wants us to love others and care for others too. And it's easy to care about yourself and do things to be happy for yourself, but it's a choice to care for others. You mean God chose to love us? And then I choose, I decide to love others like God. Yes, oui. that is right. Oui. Oh, that is very good. Au revoir. I'm cooking some Canadian poutine and I need to oh. go. But okay. I thank you so much. Okay. Au revoir. Bye. You know, part of Advent's lighting candles, and we've talked about that every time we've been together as we wait for Christmas. And since it's the fourth Sunday in Advent, we light the love candle. God loved the world so much that he gave Jesus. Jesus loves us, and we are then to love others. And you remember each week I ask you, why do we light these candles? And we lit the first candle for hope. We lit the second candle for peace. We lit the third candle for... Remember? Joy. And now we light the fourth candle for love. So why do we light this candle? We light this candle to remind us of love. You ready to put all four of them together? Let's do it. Why do we light these candles? We lit the first candle to remind us of hope. We lit the second candle to remind us of peace. We lit the third candle to remind us of joy. And we lit the fourth candle to remind us of love. Very good. Now, can you say, God loves us, we are to love others? God loves us, and we are to love others. Now, the sign for love is this. It's like giving yourself a hug. That's all it is. And remember our Advent song where we've sung about all those things that are down in our heart? Let's try that. Only this time we're going to use love. Okay? You ready? Let's sing it. I know you can do it. You've done a great job the last times we've been together. I've got that Advent love down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got that Advent love down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I've got that Advent love down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got that Advent love down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. Good job! When I was a boy, it really wasn't Advent until I could hear one of my favorite Advent hymns. It's a really, really old hymn that goes back over a thousand years ago. Now that's older than your grandparents, your great-grandparents, your great-great-grandparents. It's an old song, but I just love it. It's called, Of the Father's Love Begotten. Now because it's old, you're going to hear some words that maybe you've never heard before. One of them is the word begotten. It means to make something happen. In our song, it's the Father's love that made something happen, made Jesus to come from heaven down to earth to love us and show us how to love others. You'll also hear the words Alpha and Omega. Those are words that talk about beginning and end. And you'll hear the word evermore, and that means forever and forever. I hope you like this song. It's one of my favorites. the Father's love begotten, that the world began to be. He is Alpha and Omega, He the start, the ending be. Of the things that are, that have been, and the future years shall see, evermore and evermore. Oh, that birth that forever blessed, when Mary, full of grace, 
by the Holy Spirit had a son bear the Savior of our race and the babe the world's Redeemer first revealed his sacred face evermore and evermore this is he from heaven came we sing songs to him with loving hearts whom the prophets in the scriptures promised in their hopeful words now Christ is here the one we waited for let us all now praise the Lord evermore and evermore evermore and evermore evermore and evermore thank you for listening and now it's time for the second word of the day. Hi, Critter. Well, hey there, it's how Miss are Haley. you? Hey, Miss Lainey, how you doll doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, doing good, doing Yay. good. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, you know why we're here, right? Yeah, I think it's for the word of the day. The, the second, second word, word of, the, of day. Oh, the day. And I know it. Okay. I know Tell it. it it's sanitize. Well... You're kind of close, but mm, no, close, but sanitizing no. is good. Okay. Well, especially your hands. Think, think again. Try here. again. Uh, how about apple pie? Ooh, no, but that's really tasty. You like food, <coughs> don't you? Yeah, Bert? I sure do. Yeah, I, sure I know do. you do. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not sanitizer apple pie, but you're kind of close. I it's am. Sanctify. 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 Well, I was close because apple pie and sanctify, they kind of rhyme. They do rhyme, you're They're right. They're rhyming words, yeah. No, wait a minute, sanctify. Mm -hmm. Does that have anything to do with like a sanctuary at a church? It does, oh, yes. Okay. Sanctify is a verb. Verb. So you know that's an action word. Yeah. Like run. Yeah. Or sing. Yeah. Or eat. Yeah, or eat apple pie. Apple pie. Yep, that's good to eat. Yeah. Sanctify means to take something and set it apart. Okay. From other things for a special purpose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like the big room where we meet on Sundays. Yeah. Is set apart to worship God. Yeah. And it's the sanctuary. Sanctuary. Yeah. Sanctuary Good job. is sanctified. Yes. It is set apart to the special purpose of worshiping God. Very good job, yeah. Critter. You're right. And the word saint is like that too. Really? Yes. Yeah. The Bible says that we are all saints when we believe in yeah, Jesus. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Yep. God sets us apart to show his love to the world. Yeah. Some very special people are, are also known as saints. Yeah? Yeah. Why is that? All because they did things, yeah. some loving good things loving in their good lives. Things. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. I think I know one. Do you? I Who? know of one. Okay. Saint Nicholas. Yes. He showed God's love and kindness by giving gifts to people, especially children, a long, 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 long time long ago. Long time ago. Yeah. Very good. And did you know that God even sanctified a town? Say what? A town? Yes. He chose a special city for a special reason. I uh, wonder what that is. Mm. Give me a hint. I'll give you a hint. It's the town where Jesus was born. Bethlehem. Yes. You mean Bethlehem sure was, was yep. sanctified? God chose Bethlehem and he wow. said, I'm going to set it apart to be the place where my son will be born. Oh, wow. That's great. Well, thanks, Miss Amy. I now understand a fancy word. Sanctify. Sanctify. All right. Good Thank job. you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy right. your apple pie. Thank you. I will. Bye-bye. <laughs> Our Bible reading today comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. At that time, the emperor sent an order to all people in all the countries that were under his rule. The order said that they must list their names on a register at their hometowns. The people had to go back to their hometowns to be registered. So Joseph left where he lived, a town called Nazareth, and went to his hometown, which was Bethlehem. This town was known as the town of King David, and Joseph went there because he was in David's family. Mary went too because they were together and she was going to have a baby. While Mary and Joseph were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. So what does this all mean? And why did Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem? 
and why did God sanctify Bethlehem? And I know who wants to know, our friend Tubber. So let's go visit him on Gum Avenue. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Tubber. Oh, hi there, Miss Amy. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm just getting all my candles arranged I for Advent. I see them. I got, I got my hope candle, yep. and I got my peace candle, and I got the joy candle. That yes. was the pink one. Yes. And then I got today's candle, which is a love a candle. love candle. I love that candle. I yeah. know. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. How good. are you? Yeah, I'm glad you came around because I got some questions. I'm here. And you know, I've heard about that word. I heard about that word love, and I think I understand that love. That that love that God God wants us to have because it's the love that God gives to us where where He cares for us and yes. and then we care for others. Yes, yeah. it's you're so different right. than the love that I could have for food or for yeah. my family. I understand that one. Well, that's good. And I think I understand that word sanctify. Okay. Yeah, they take and you put something apart. Like we would we would set apart these all these candles for Advent. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. But I don't understand. Okay. Why? Why would God sanctify mm. this little town called Bethlehem? You oh. know that song, right? Oh, I little town. Why would God take a little town and set it apart like mm. that? Well. You'd think he'd use like a big city or something. Yeah. yeah. Think, do you remember in the first week yeah. when we learned about the prophets? The prophets, we yeah. learned. Oh, well, the saying. What was that saying? Yeah, do you remember? Mm. Prophets. prophets? Prophesy. Prophecy. Prophecy. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. The prophet said over 700 years before Jesus what? was even going to be born, yeah. God told them yeah. that a Savior would be born in Bethlehem. No. Yes. In Bethlehem. So in Bethlehem. God had chose Bethlehem a long time before so Jesus even ago. came to earth from heaven. Yes. And that's why he was born in Bethlehem. You're right. Because that's what God wanted. You're right. Okay. All right. So I understand that Okay. One. But what then else? I got another question. Okay. Why? Why? Why would God even choose to love us to send Jesus? Oh. I don't understand. I just, sometimes I just am, and I don't understand that. Yeah. We have a lot of questions all the time, huh? Yeah. So... God sent Jesus yeah. so that we could learn about his love. The God's love. Yes, God's love. That love of caring. Yes. Oh, yeah, that love. Yeah, okay. Jesus came yeah. to help us understand how to show God's love, to oh, care for others. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And then yeah. he also came later to forgive us of our sins. To forgive us of yes. our sins. Oh. Yes. I don't understand that a lot about that either. Yeah, we'll learn about that one another time. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. Well, thanks so much, Miss <laughs> Amy. You helped me understand more about sanctify and Bethlehem good. and love and how all this goes together. Good. And you can help care for others to show God's love. Too. Yeah. You know and what? I really do. I, I, I'm trying so hard to love God and to yeah. love Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. all he wants. Just well, thank to try you so and do much. our best. and. Show his love to others. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. I hope to see you soon, okay? Thanks for visiting. Okay, bye. Bye. And now it's time for Did You Know with Critter. Hey, 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 y'all, it's Critter. And did you know that Bethlehem is a Hebrew word? Yeah, most of the Bible was written in Hebrew, but Bethlehem is actually made up of two words. First part's Beth, and, and that means in Hebrew, house. So if you know anybody named Beth, and you do, Miss Beth, her name means house. And the second part of that is Lahem, or sometimes in Hebrew pronounced Lechem. Yeah, that means bread. Yeah, Bethlehem means house of bread. Did you know that? Now, did you know also that Jesus called himself once the bread of life? Think about it. The bread of life was born in the house of bread. Did you know that? Okay, for our last craft, today's craft, we're going to do a silhouette of the town of Bethlehem. At the top it says a little town of Bethlehem. Now, a silhouette just basically means something that you can see through. See, you can see my hand through that. So when we're done, if you want to put a candle behind it or a light or something so the light shines through, that'll be really cool. Uh, we'll show you that when we're done. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is take your two stars, the white one and the gold one. 
You're going to have to peel the back off the white one. More stickies and peelies, okay. Then you're going to take your silhouette. Now, you got to look because it says, Oh, little town of Bethlehem right up here. You want to put the star on the outside of it so that when you look at it, you can read the words, Oh, little town of Bethlehem. If you put it on the back, it's going to be backwards. Okay? So we want to make sure that you can read the letters. And you want to take your star and you want to stick it right in the middle. And it's pretty sticky. Okay? Put it right in the middle so it's pointing to Bethlehem. Then we're going to take the gold star. We're going to peel the back off of it, just like this. Now, sometimes it might tear a little bit because of the points, but you can get it off, okay? Then we're going to take our silhouette, and we're going to put our gold star, we're going to stick it right inside our white one, just like that. It's going to give it some color and give it some dimension, and it probably looks like the star on that night that Jesus was born. Okay, I want you to take this black rectangular piece and there's a little punch out right in the middle. Just punch it right out. Well, this one's a little stubborn here. Let's get him. There we go. There. Okay. Now he's out. Oh, you can see through it. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to take this frame, and on the back is more sticky tape. So, let's just peel it off all the way around. All right, now this, this is the tricky part. You want to make sure you put the frame on the outside where your star is. Don't put it on the back, put it on the front. And you're going to, what you want to do is you want to start at the top. Okay, it's kind of sticky, so it's easier if you lay it down. But you're going to put it at the top. And you're going to stick it all the way around, just like a frame. Let me lay it down here, it'll be easier for me. Now, it will come off before you push it all the way down. So if you don't get it quite the way you want it, you can take it off and put it back on. Okay. Then you want to press it down. Make sure it's nice and nice and uh, smooth. Okay. All right. Then we're going to take the bottom tab here and we're going to put it inside the slit. Now you might have to wiggle it in there a little bit, but it'll go in there. And then. We set it down, and we're going to light a candle behind ours, and you'll see what it looks like. Greetings. I am Robot Elenia from Pennsylvania, and I have a tongue twister for you. Love is lovingly lovely. Say it five times real fast. Love is lovingly lovely. 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 Thank you. That is all. You know, we've learned about the word love and the word sanctify, and we've also heard about Bethlehem. Bethlehem was sanctified, set apart by God for the special purpose of the place where Jesus would be born. You know, there are Christmas carols about Bethlehem. I'm going to sing three of them. I want you to listen real carefully and count how many times you hear the word Bethlehem. You ready? Let me start singing. Children, go where I send you. How shall I send you? I'm gonna send you one by one, one for the itty bitty baby born, born, born in Bethlehem. Children, go where I send you. How shall I send you? I'm gonna send you two by two. 
two for Mary and Joseph, one for the itty bitty baby who's born, born, born in Bethlehem. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come, ye, oh, come, ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Children, go where I send you. How shall I send you? I'm gonna send you three by three, three for the three wise men, two for Mary and Joseph, and one for the itty bitty baby who's born, born, born in Bethlehem. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie Above thy deep and dreamless sleep The silent stars go by Yet in thy dark street shineth The everlasting light The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Children, go where I send you. How shall I send you? I'm gonna send you four by four. Four for the four points on the star. Three for the three wise men. Two for Mary and Joseph. One for the itty bitty baby born, born, born in Bethlehem. Children, go where I send you. How shall I send you? I'm gonna send you five by five. Five for a group of shepherds. Four for the four points on the star. Three for the three wise men. Two for Mary and Joseph. One for the itty bitty baby who's born, born, born in Bethlehem. Who's born, born, born in Bethlehem. Born in Bethlehem, born in Bethlehem. Did you count ten times? I hope you did because that's right. God loves us and we love others. Do you remember our question? Why do we light this candle? We light this candle to remind us of love. God loved the world so much that he gave his son Jesus to show us love so that we can love others. That's right. Thank you so much for being with us. And as a special treat, let's sing that Advent song one more time. You know, each week we've been singing about that Advent song, having Advent down in our hearts, and we've talked about hope and peace and joy and love. Do you remember the sign for hope? It's this, hope. And the sign for peace, like two people smoothing something out. Sign for joy. And the sign for love. Now how about we take all four of those and we put them together and sing the song. And on the last verse of the song, we'll do all four of them real fast, okay? All right, let's do it. You know this song. I've got that Advent hope down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart, got that advent hope down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I've got that advent peace down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got that advent peace down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I've got that advent joy down in my heart, down in my heart. Down in my heart, I've got that Advent joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I've got that Advent love down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got that Advent love 
Down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. We're going to put them all together. Ready? I've got that hope, peace, joy, love down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got that hope, peace, joy, love down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I'll bet you did better than I did.